All right, this is our recap for NQ. It's Tuesday, September 12th, 2023. My name is Max with Renko Momentum Traders, and I'll be walking you through today's setups. So the first thing we're going to look at is a 32 bar period chart. And as you guys know, I look at four different bar periods at all times. I'm looking at the 32, the 16, the 8, and then my execution chart is the 4. This depending on the volatility of the market. But to begin, let's go ahead and just look at the 16 to, be, to, to understand the, pri the price action and where we're coming from. So we could technically see that we were bullish, right? We we're holding above our 50 SMA. Price was printing higher, high, higher low. So we can kind of see that based on these red lines here, okay? Price yesterday we ended up creating a two-leg up move, right? So leg one, leg two. We see this happen all the time. It's constantly being printed. And then what ends up happening? Price pulls back to the trend line. So this is where we started at the open. OK, and so the thesis at the open was, hey, are they going to hold the trend line? If so, then we expect price to continue our bull trend and print another leg up. So we would have a third leg, a third higher high. Uh, obviously, that didn't happen. Price popped and then dropped. Right. And so when that began to take place, you know, we could see that the 50 SMA failed. We had our first trend sniper signal to go short. We don't take the first signal. Price pulls all the way down to our 200 SMA. OK, find support there and then pulls back up to the 50 SMA and then we get that second arrow down. And this would technically be the trifecta setup here on the 32. Now, you guys know we don't execute off the 32. You could. It just requires you to use a bigger stop loss. OK, but again, we're looking at the structure. What happened here? And now what we want to do is drop to the 16 bar period so we can begin to see the structure and how we could have potentially taken advantage of it. Uh, taking advantage of this okay so first and foremost we could take a look at the pre-market so pre-market engineered some buy side liquidity so what does that mean buy side liquidity well when you start seeing this type of structure it's a bear channel okay also known as a bull flag right but nonetheless you see that we're printing lower highs and lower lows so what's happening is we are creating uh, buy stops. So meaning people who are selling this have their stop orders resting here. And usually when you see that begin to occur, what ends up happening is the market gets too one sided and eventually there needs to be some type of liquidation. And so we got that liquidation at the open. You can see price opened up. We pushed up. They gave us a nice little two legged pop here today uh, at the open leg one pull back leg two which I was able to participate in. Now, I was anticipating a bigger liquidation. I was thinking we could possibly get to the main point up here right around the 779 level. And if we clear that, then obviously we'd be going after um, the level here right at the 700s, give or take. Um, but that didn't happen, right? Price pulls back one more time and you can begin to start seeing. Now, what you see here is a yellow Ludwig level. We trade Ludwig levels. Uh, very important algorithmic levels where you'll find major, major reactions. OK, so what we saw here initially was price found support. And not only did we have the lug level here, but we had our 50 SMA. OK, and then from there, what ends up happening is we have price end up breaking. OK, so we can see the failure take take place. And so when I say failure, what does that actually mean? So if we were thinking like a buyer, buyers are buying off the 50 SMA, right? They're buying off support, right? You buy You see support here. You know, if I were to draw my little zone here, I could just kind of help you guys see that a little bit more clear. Let me go ahead and highlight that for you. But you can see price holding and bouncing. So people are buying. Buyers are buying. But then when the buyers fail, and what that basically means is they fail to hold the level and they fail to take it higher. OK, so at that failure, we see price shift. So we have that shift happen when they break the lows, they clear out, uh, they clear out our liquidity, and then they start moving aggressively toward the 200 SMA. What's the next draw of liquidity? Well, it's going to be that swing low that was initially formed as a low day at the open. So price clears the level, pops up one more time, and then it liquidates the rest of these lows. And if you look here from yesterday, we had a very similar structure. You can see this bear channel here. Well, we had a bull channel, which did what? Engineer sell side stops. OK, so there's obviously resting liquidity underneath all these lows. And so that was the draw price runs the lows, liquidates all the stops and then what get a big reaction. What else do we have here? We have our Ludwig levels. So we have our Ludwig levels here that form this massive reaction right after the liquidation. Right uh, from there, we get a shift. Now we get a super trend shift, not an actual market structure shift. So what that basically means is when we're in a bear trend, we're respecting super trend, as you can see here on the 16 bar. 
And for the first time, we started breaking through super trend. So bar four broke, then obviously created a sequence of 10 bars. So price pulls back to the 50 SMA, and then we do what? We find support back at super trend. So, so super trend now becomes a flip zone where we had resistance now become what? Support. So support held, right? And then we got a confirmation up on 16. So what does this mean here? So basically we have leg one, pull back, leg two. Okay, you see how that works? So we're always looking for that second leg to take entries on so we can ride it up, right? So if you were to take this, we could see price does pull back right about to the 50% of the FIB. We like those deeper pullbacks, usually 618 or 786. But in this instance, price held, and then from there we squeeze, right? So at, at the end of the day, you could have taken that long here. You could have taken that short right here on this breakdown, okay? And then of course, right when we get to the 200 SMA, what happens? Well, we see another rejection. Not only do we have our SMA there, but what's really happening here is we have all this resistance here, right? We have the support level, a flip zone, turn into, uh, sorry, support turned into resistance. And so when we see that, and a 200 SMA signifies that as well, that's a clue. Price then fails, rejects, and then what? Begins the next leg down. Now notice, price does end up clearing the uh, Super Trend 1 like butter. They clear the 50 SMA like butter. No problem, right? No friction whatsoever. But then eventually we get down to the lows and it took some time for them to finally clear the blue blood level. But nonetheless, the trade of the day today was really taking it from yellow to blue and then waiting for that pullback to be able to attack it short off the 200. So you could have taken this leg down. You could have got the trifecta here to the upside. Okay, and then you could have flipped short again as they started taking it down. Now, it would have been hard to get a confirmed entry on 16. You could have just taken the entry on the on the rejection when we get a PTC signal, or once we start breaking down super trend, you could do that. The other option would have been to get short on the signal at bar 11, but you guys know I don't like taking trades past bar 10, right? I want to get in between one and six. So in order to execute this short, what you would have had to do is look at the eight bar to find a safer entry. So let's see if we can find that entry here that would have been an ideal place to enter uh, on that trade. So this is the eight bar. So if we were to look at um, the location here. So let me see if I can just share this with no scroll so we can look at the same area. So here's where we got the 16 rejection. And as you can start seeing here, you know, we had price come up and then we failed super trend one. Okay, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily take that right there and then. But then price gets to the 50 SMA and then you see it starts breaking down. We get a confirmed signal down here. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I would take that trade either, right? I really would want to see a pullback to trifecta and then take that thing short. And so we really didn't get that, but we did get that eventually down here. Okay. And so that would have been a safer entry. Uh, the only issue with that entry is because you were so close to the swing low, you would have had to sit through all this chop until they finally liquidated uh, all the way down here. Okay. So that would have been the safer entry, but you could have got in if you had conviction on that level and could have just taken it right there. Okay. So that was the trade of the day. I mean, really, there was really, honestly, like I would, I would have to say three good setups today. You had the short, you had the long, and then you had the short, right? And so just looking at where price pulled back to, I mean, that was so clean right there. I mean, we really should have taken advantage. I personally did not take advantage of that, but I know people in the room did. Props to Jason. We have a guy in our room who caught like 400 ticks of the downside and then caught it short again. I mean, the guy ripped it today. Uh, but nonetheless, this was the plays uh, for the day. Hopefully you guys were able to catch some of that. Uh, and tomorrow's the new day. So we'll see what we can do tomorrow. And we'll see if we're going to continue in this type of uh, momentum to the downside or if they're going to just rotate up. Remember, we have some news coming in tomorrow. So we should expect to see some 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 big moves. OK, so with that being said, guys, hope you guys got value from today. Have questions, leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't considered jumping into our VIP discord room, you can go ahead and check out the link that we have in the description and uh, we'll take it from there. You guys take care and have a great rest of your day.